fine calm day. It's absolutely stunning and beautiful. We're on the shore of Lake Wanaka in Wanaka and it's very, very windy and the dust is whipping up all over the place. Story of the day though today is that our New Zealand leader Jeff Judd went out, blown engine, leaving the lead to Englishman Vince Bristow, who now leads from another Englishman, Simon Tyso, both in Ford Escorts, both loving the conditions in New Zealand, and Vince Bristow, I think this is his fourth attempt, so good luck for him tomorrow, that's the last day. Now the outright leader, and you've had an afternoon in the lead, is it comfortable? Yeah, we got a good lead, um, I believe it's about nine minutes, we had a little issue earlier on in the day, but lead fell off and left us with no power or no engine in the, in the stage dropped two minutes there um but we're still i think we're still quite comfortably nine minutes so um we've been you know like nicking a little bit back so might be 10 by now but um yeah no, we're going all right you don't really even need to defend in that position do you i don't but it's still not much but it's only a puncture or something silly to, to happen um and i've been i've been on this rally four times now and every time it's bitten me so um yeah i just i want to get to the finish now well good luck for last day tomorrow thank you very much Simon Tyso, you're in second place now overall and in the historics. What's the plan tomorrow? You've got quite a ways to catch up, haven't you? Yeah, we won't catch up. We're not even going to attempt to catch up. We can only do what we've done the rest of this rally. We've, uh, we set out, obviously, just to have a, um, an average finish, um, but to finish the rally after the, the time I was here before. And um, it's just played out to where we are, people falling off. So, yeah, we're not even going to attempt to um, catch up. We're just going to do very much of the same that we've been doing. Obviously we've got to keep a, an eye on the guys behind the chains slowly creeping up. He had 20 seconds out of us on the last stage. So we've just got to keep him at bay, but uh, keep it straight, keep it tidy and keep it on the road. Brody Anderson, now because of attrition you've ended up in second place. Did you hope to be that well placed? Uh, no, we, we came into this just to finish it. So we, we, we drove at the start. We started pushing halfway through. Um, we've, like I said, we've ended up in second. Um, we've sort of backed right off because we've got plenty of leeway, so we're just sort of driving the car now in the middle of the road. Probably too far to, to try and catch Dave Strong, isn't it? Yeah, no, we're not even we're not even pushing him. We've, we've backed right off. Um, Dave, you've been in command of the challenge for some days now, but you're looking like third overall, I think, in the combined. Uh, is that your aim now? Well, yeah. Yesterday, yesterday uh, afternoon it wasn't. I was relieved to be safely in the lead of the challenge but uh, we thought about it overnight and you know these opportunities don't come along too often so uh, we've been going for it today we've been trying really really hard and we're hanging in there but uh, there's some quick cars coming where they're just chipping away slightly but uh, we've tried some different tyres and we're, we're working on the speed of the car. You could argue it's still a long way to Queenstown couldn't you? Oh yeah there's a lot, there's a lot to go um, I think I'm about 15, 16 seconds up on the next car, so uh, we're, we're working hard to hold that.